Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I got a couple of comments in the video I did this morning about showing you guys how to perform the incline dumbbell press. And I advised that for strength athletes, and I, I said that bodybuilders and people seeking purely aesthetics would be the exception to this, but I said strength athletes, particularly power lifters, strong men, anyone who needs to make contact with someone on the field to push them, or any sort of combat athlete who needs to punch that I recommend that you lock out most, if not all of your pressing, even your accessory work to help make sure that you train to lock out hard on all your pressing so that you don't train yourself to decelerate at the top because that's the last thing you really want is to train that motor pattern. And people jumped in and used the example and said, well, I guess George Lehman is doing it wrong. And I really hate that mentality. And let me explain to you guys why. And two of the most frequently used guys, it's ironic because I'm actually big fans of the two guys that are very frequently used, and I'm very familiar with their training, and that's always George Lehman and Jamie Lewis. And when I make general advice, and I say, look, the majority of you are going to get better results if you do this, people always mention these two individuals, that they forget something, and that is that you do not use the exception to the rule to prove the rule. If you do that, odds are you're going to fuck yourself on getting results in the long run. When I give these general rules, they're because they're going to give you a little small slight edge to help you out. They're not going to give you a lot. They're going to give you a little bit of an edge. It's going to help you. You're going to be able to get the same result of maybe a little less work, maybe in a little quicker time, because you're doing things a little better, such as training your lockouts completely on, on pressing. It'll help your bench press improve in a competition style bench better. It'll help you lock out those overhead presses they got to do in strongman. It will help you hit someone harder when you have to push them off you, when you hit them on the playing field in football, it'll help you punch a slightly bit harder on the lockout if you're a boxer. It's not going to make or break you, but it's going to help you a little bit. But people always say, oh, well, this person's doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong. And you guys forget, these are genetically elite individuals who train. Both of these guys train so fucking hard that 95% out of you would probably not be able to walk or move for a fucking week if you trained as hard as either one of these guys train. When you train as hard and as brutally hard as both of those guys do, and you take that mentality to your training, the type of mentality that they have that is basically almost a form of mental illness, to be that focused and brutally <laughs> aggressive in your training, you're not psychologically normal, but that's okay. Being a champion requires you to be fucked up at least in one way or another, and they are both champions. But the thing is, when you train that hard, you can get away with extra errors and maybe not doing certain things perfect or the most efficient way because it doesn't matter because you're just training so damn hard that you're going to adapt and get stronger anyways. But for those of you who do not want to train as hard as either one of those guys do, and I mean, I, I like to think that I train pretty hard, but I, I've watched both of their training. I've watched their mentalities. I don't train as hard as either one of them do. I'll just admit it. And I'm going to venture to say, out of my 41, 42,000 subscribers, there might be 10 of you who train anywhere near as hard as they do. So for everyone else, I would recommend if you don't want to just train as brutally hard as these two elite individuals do day in, day out, I might recommend that you do things a little more efficient and just take some of those general suggestions and rather than try to argue that, I, oh, you're saying these guys are doing it wrong and if they got results doing it, clearly you're wrong. Guys, these are just tips to help you along the way. Take them or leave them. I'm going to recommend that you don't use those two individuals as your examples because, again, they train so hard that they are going to get results no matter what sort of system they use. Now, if you want to go train like Jamie Lewis, by all means, feel free to do so. But if you ever see what one of his average workouts look like, and he trains pretty much every day that way, he doesn't take days off. This is a guy who has no problem doing 20 sets of squats, 10 sets of deadlifts, and 10 sets of push presses on Monday and coming back and doing it again on Tuesday and hit training maxes on every single one of them. Now, if you want to train like Jamie Lewis, then by all means, go ahead and do so. But I'll venture to say that the majority of you can't handle it. So don't nitpick and pick and choose little points that some of these guys do without 
taking in the totality of their training because it is the totality of their training that's giving them the results, not one or two little factors. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs> but let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh.